I used to reject theatre. I was like, bedoying, not going to do theatre. Uh, you don't get paid. And um, <laughs> it goes on forever. And there's a point when, because I was in this other part of my life, I thought, actually, maybe it's, maybe it's going to challenge you. Maybe it'll make you think differently about your art. And um, I was doing a radio show, and Radio 4 were great, actually. They started to encourage me to do documentaries and stuff. And I, I, I had this program called uh, What's So Great About? And uh, the first one was about Shakespeare. What's So Great About Shakespeare? And because I always thought it was about posh people in tights with a cauliflower down their trousers, <laughs> who, with a lisp, how fee they for they for the... Um, and I, and I, I didn't really like it because I didn't think it was for me. You never heard anybody go, uh, now is the winter of our discontent. <laughs> My glorious summer by this son of York. You never heard that. You never, you never heard, um, to be or not to be, that is the question. <laughs> Whether it is noble to suffer the slings and harrows. <laughs> you never saw that. And then I was studying for my, um, for my um, degree in English literature, and they sent, the OU sends you cassettes for different modules, and they, they sent diverse Shakespeare. Oh, okay. So there was a Russian film, and there was, um, you know, there was a Livier's King Lear, and there was this Caribbean Midsummer Night's Dream. And it was fantastic. And I thought, oh, okay. You can have a Caribbean King Lear. You can have, a, you can have an African, you know, Hamlet. You can have, you can have it's brilliant. It was, it was so funny and lively and, and it made me awake to the possibilities of change. So when Barry Rutter said, I think he could do Othello, I said, well, what do you mean? And he said, let's, so for the radio show, we did the last scene, softer a word or two before you go, I have done the state some service and they know it's no more of this. We did that, and we did it for four hours. And like the band playing the beginning of I Want You Back, when you do comedy, I'd never rehearsed 30 lines for four hours before. <laughs> I was starting to get stitched, you know. Can we stop and get to the toilet or something? And he just, just kept going over it and saying, try it like this now, try it like this now, try it like this now, try it like this now. What about if he's angry? What about if he's wistful? What about if he's reminiscing? What, and he just had throwing all these verbs at me. And I thought, this is, this is fantastically creative. I never, I didn't feel like I'd, and of course, working with Tracy Ullman puts you on your metal because she's a brilliant improv, improviser and a brilliant voice merchant and made me think about improv and creativity in a way that I'd never done before. So actually, Tracy was the beginning of me thinking about acting and characters in a different way to just, I've got this geezer who talks a bit like this, and he's based on this choreographer I know called Kelvin, and I think it might be interesting, right, if he's from Brixton and he's like a revolutionary, get me? Um, when, you do, when you're doing acting work and you're doing, you're being, you know, they, they've got this thing called a hot seat where they sit you down and the director fires questions at you and you have to answer in character. I'd never done that before. Um, they've got this thing called actioning, they do it at the Royal Court. Uh, Max Stafford Clark made you think of a, a transitive verb. So it's like um, when you're talking to this crowd and you're telling them about transitive verbs, it's to teach or to prepare or to guide. So um, I got taught about that. Um, in exchange for teaching stand-up, I went to work with Vaina Depu at Nottingham Playhouse and she gave me for nothing um, different types of acting class. So I actively pursued challenges late 90s, early noughties, I was actively pursuing different stuff. I didn't just want to go and do two guys walking a bar anymore. <laughs>